Excuse me, have you perchance seen any evil spirits? Oh, my apologies. You're not from around here, are you? This question must sound a little confusing to you. I'm Chong Yun, a local exorcist from Liu. Those versed in the arts of exorcism refer to all forms of demons and monsters as evil spirits. Evil spirits have existed since ancient times. They lurk among the shadows in the land of Liyue, stirring up all sorts of trouble and mischief. It is my duty to exorcise or destroy them, and protect the citizens here from their evil doings. It's work that must be done, much like any other job. That's all. Sorry, I digress. Judging from your response, it seems you aren't well versed in the realm of evil spirits. But that's understandable. If I may ask, have you happened to come across anything strange recently? Sometimes even the most trivial matters prove helpful in my hunt for evil spirits. Oh, I see. Well, fair enough. In that case, I guess I'll just have to try my luck with the clues I already have. <sighs> Only some scattered reports, really. Nothing too significant yet. But if you're interested, I can tell you about some of the more useful ones I've gathered so far. I read a flyer that said, The test of courage is now being held on Wu Wang Hill. Bring your best friend and test your courage together. Then, recently, the sounds of footsteps and shouting have been heard outside people's windows at night. The noises have frightened the children and they are unable to sleep. And a huge shadow has appeared in Guayli Plains. It flies and swirls, summons down fireballs, and makes all sorts of strange noises. Cases such as these might actually be worth our attention. I think something strange must have happened at the Test of Courage. I guess this so-called test is supposed to be like a test of metal. Its purpose must be to try the will and power of exorcists. <sighs> Do you think I'm not deciphering these clues correctly? So you don't think any of these clues are related to evil spirits? Uh, sorry. <sighs> Please give me a moment to calm myself. <sighs> no, it's fine. I've been this way since I was young. No, not at all. I guess you could say that I just tend to be... unstable. You know, emotionally. It causes me to become very uncomfortable at times. This tendency of getting stirred up easily is what people call a pure yang spirit. Yes, well, such a constitution is very rare. But it's a potent weapon for an exorcist. My constitution alone is capable of scaring off evil spirits. But I must constantly focus on my emotions. Otherwise, I may easily do something out of control. Anyway, I carefully selected these clues from an ocean of information. I can't believe they're all completely irrelevant. Oh no. I'm still feeling quite uncomfortable. There's heat growing in my chest. I... I... I can't breathe. No. I'll, I'll be alright. I, I brought some popsicles with me for just such situations. I, I feel much better now. It's quite effective. I'm always sure to bring some popsicles with me whenever I go out. <sighs> Thank you for your concern. I'm fine now. But what should I do next if all these clues are irrelevant? Yes, I've noticed him too. It's no coincidence that we both noticed it. I'm sure he's watching us. But it doesn't seem he has any intentions other than looking at us. Perhaps there's something he wishes to tell us. Right. He might need our help. Uh, huh? Sorry, I'll leave now. No, please, relax. There's no need to worry. We're not here for trouble. We couldn't help but notice you standing here for a while and thought that you might have something on your mind. No, there's nothing on my mind. I just thought the thing you were eating looked tasty. My sister just loves food. She's always super happy whenever we get some tasty snacks. I'm her big brother, and I should take care of her, but... 
Mom says we're too poor and she never lets me buy any snacks. Oh, you mean one of my popsicles? I'm afraid you wouldn't find them very tasty, though. Oh, it doesn't matter. My sister's never had anything like that before. I know she'd be happy to try one. Hmm. Come to think of it, I've never had one either. I see. Hmm. That might be difficult. Well, I only have two popsicles left. These popsicles are very important to me, and I might need them if we encounter an evil spirit. Without them, I might not be able to control my constitution. Just give him one? Hmm, I suppose keeping the other for myself will be enough. You see, my young friend, these popsicles are very important to me. I'm afraid I can only give you one. That's okay. I don't need one. Just as long as my sister is happy. Thanks a lot. Whoa! It's already starting to melt. I excuse me. I better hurry back to Chihu Rock now. I never expected that something I used to suppress my yang energy would be so appealing to kids. Anyway, back to our hunt for evil spirits. Earlier it seemed like you could easily discern which clues were most credible. You must truly be a knowledgeable and seasoned adventurer. I still have numerous clues from my friend which I haven't sorted through yet. With my limited experience, it's hard to tell whether they're reliable leads. If you'd be willing, could you please come and take a look with me? Alright, let's go to Wanwen Bookhouse. Please, follow me. This is a note that I received from a friend. It has many clues about evil spirits on it. If we check the books here at Wanwen Bookhouse according to their respective clues on the note, we'll be able to find the complete details of each clue. Since you're here to help, I'll just read the clues to you, and you can help me judge if they're credible or not based on your experience. Alright, here are the first clues. At the foot of Mount Chingsa is a violet grass that has turned into a gigantic, man-eating monster. Also, there's a ghostly shadow skulking about Feiyun's slope at night. It's suspected to be a vengeful spirit. And finally, lurking in Li Yue Harbor is a massive demon that was transformed from a popsicle. Huh. I've never encountered any such things before. Anyway, could you pick the one that seems most plausible and likely to be the work of evil spirits? Hmm, this is possible, but it sounds too similar to previous rumors. Many people often pass through Feiyun's slope, so perhaps it's just some sort of misunderstanding. Hmm, how about these clues? Deep in the Sea of Clouds, a marauding demon has been raiding commercial fishing boats and building a luxurious palace. Or, in Zhuiyun Karst, there's a piece of a thousand-year-old amber that has gained consciousness and now roams about causing trouble. And lastly, it's said that people often see a demon who loves eating chilies in Wanmin restaurant. This one does seem possible, but it also sounds like a tale from unverifiable sources. Plus, we don't have any means of investigating the deep sea either. Okay, here are a few more clues. A strange man wearing a mask and wielding a pole was once seen in the distance around Guayli Plains. There's something eerie about his presence. Or, someone saw an exorcist with blue hair who was actually a transformed demon. Wait, what? And finally, there is a vigilant demon adept at concealing itself in mist. Recently, People have found traces of it in Mingyun Village, Guili Plains, and Yao Guangzhou. Now that you mention it, I may have heard of this one. I've been trying to track it, but the spirit's so cautious that I don't think we'll ever have a chance of catching it unless it decides to show itself. It appears most of these clues are either not reliable or nearly impossible to investigate. It seems like there is little here that we can actually use. Oh, many of these are from my friend, Singcho. He's well-read and very knowledgeable. Not to mention he's always willing to extend a helping hand. 
He always provides me with lots of reliable information. If it weren't for my pure Yang spirit, I would have already vanquished numerous demons because of him. I'm sure of it. I should find a chance to thank him personally. Do... Do you mean that I shouldn't trouble him anymore? Sorry, I digress. I've found another snippet of information here. There aren't many details, but it clearly mentions Wu Wang Hill. If we include the Test of Courage rumor from before, there are already two clues pointing there. I've also noticed that the weather in Wu Wang Hill has been very abnormal recently. Let's go and have a look. We might just find something useful. All right, let's head out and see what we can find. This place seems quite ordinary. So ordinary that I don't even feel that it's worth investigating. Wu Wang Hill's unusual weather and peculiar surroundings are a source of constant rumors, most of which are untraceable and can never be proven. So, I suppose this could only be expected. I guess so. Like I mentioned before, my yang energy tends to just scare away evil spirits. You may think it's beneficial for me to have such a condition, and therefore there is no real need for me to practice thaumaturgy. But if I renounced my practice of thaumaturgy, and one day met an evil spirit that didn't fear my yang energy, then I may not be able to exercise it. If I merely spend my time training without actually putting it into practice, then how would I ever know the fruits of my labor or what skills I needed to improve? But to this very day, despite the many exorcisms I have performed, I have yet to see a single demon, not to mention one that I needed to defeat using thaumaturgy. <sighs> Sorry, I, I shouldn't rant like that. I'm fine. I've gotten used to such feelings. Since we're already here, let's go check the two locations mentioned in the clue. What's this? I know this mist. It was left by some kind of evil spirit. It's very thick and never disperses. The evil spirit may have been here recently. Yes, it was not all in vain. But we mustn't act rashly. If this mist remains here, it can easily contaminate the area. Once it contaminates monsters such as Hillichurls, it could even make them more aggressive and dangerous to anyone nearby. Or if it happens to contaminate any adventurers passing by, the consequences would be unimaginable. My pleasure. Let's inspect the surrounding area to see if there's any more mist like this. Once we've cleaned up this mess, we'll continue forward. Remember, there might be danger ahead. We should be prepared for a fight. It's second nature to me. Exorcism is a solemn and serious matter. It's on me if you or anyone else gets hurt due to my negligence. There's no time to lose. Let's go. It appears there are evil spirits here, and not the weak variety. Let's keep going. I suspected that there would be hilly chills here. Let's deal with them all. We mustn't let a single one escape. These tracks are still fresh. It seems the evil spirit is on the move. The path ends here as well as the tracks. It'll be difficult to follow it any further. It must have sensed me as a threat from a long way off. That's why it ran with such haste. It seems that this is still not the kind of spirit that can overcome my abundant yang energy and fight me head on. <sighs> Don't worry. I'll continue tracking it for a few days. It won't dare show its face around here again. Most likely, yes. I'm afraid the best I can do is just scare it away. Hmm? Why do you seem so disappointed? No, quite the contrary. Not only did we clean up the traces of the evil spirit, but we also took care of those monsters. We've done our jobs as exorcists. My only regret is that I didn't get to drive it away using my thaumaturgy. But I'm already prepared to spend my life chasing this goal, so I do not regret such disappointments. Yes, so please, cheer up. Actually, I also wanted to thank you for not leaving me, even with my special condition. 
and for helping chase the evil spirit to the very end. Even if we'd ended up running into an incredibly strong demon, I would have felt much safer with an experienced adventurer like you by my side. Well, I appreciate it. Oh, it seems the weather is starting to clear up over there. Let's go have a look. Hmm. Perhaps there's nothing to worry about after all. Even though I didn't come face to face with that evil spirit, at least I met you. Oh, no, uh, that came out wrong. What I'm trying to say is, we shouldn't focus only on the gains and losses of our journey. The things you see and the events you encounter along the way are equally important rewards. Excuse me, have you perchance seen any evil spirits? Oh, my apologies. You're not from around here, are you? This question must sound a little confusing to you. I'm Chong Yoon, a local exorcist from Liu. Those versed in the arts of exorcism refer to all forms of demons and monsters as evil spirits. Evil spirits have existed since ancient times. They lurk among the shadows in the land of Liyue, stirring up all sorts of trouble and mischief. It is my duty to exorcise or destroy them, and protect the citizens here from their evil doings. How did you come to know of the vigilant Yaksha? I have great respect for the Yakshas. For generations, Yakshas and exorcists have been protecting Liyue together, one in plain sight and the other in secret. Sorry, I digress. Judging from your response, it seems you aren't well versed in the realm of evil spirits, but that's understandable. If I may ask, have you happened to come across anything strange recently? Sometimes even the most trivial matters prove helpful in my hunt for evil spirits. Oh, I see. Well, fair enough. In that case, I guess I'll just have to try my luck with the clues I already have. <sighs> Only some scattered reports, really. Nothing too significant yet. But if you're interested, I can tell you about some of the more useful ones I've gathered so far. I read a flyer that said, The test of courage is now being held on Wu Wang Hill. Bring your best friend and test your courage together. Then, recently, the sounds of footsteps and shouting have been heard outside people's windows at night. The noises have frightened the children and they are unable to sleep. And a huge shadow has appeared in Guayli Plains. It flies and swirls, summons down fireballs, and makes all sorts of strange noises. Cases such as these might actually be worth our attention. Hmm. Unless there was a problem with the drinks, I don't think drunkards would scare the children that much. <sighs> Do you think I'm not deciphering these clues correctly? So you don't think any of these clues are related to evil spirits? Uh, sorry. <sighs> Please give me a moment to calm myself. <sighs> no, it's fine. I've been this way since I was young. No, not at all. I guess you could say that I just tend to be... unstable. You know, emotionally. It causes me to become very uncomfortable at times. This tendency of getting stirred up easily is what people call a pure yang spirit. Yes, well, such a constitution is very rare, but it's a potent weapon for an exorcist. My constitution alone is capable of scaring off evil spirits. But I must constantly focus on my emotions, otherwise I may easily do something out of control. Anyway, I carefully selected these clues from an ocean of information. I can't believe they're all completely irrelevant. Oh no. I'm still feeling quite uncomfortable. There's heat growing in my chest. I... I... I can't breathe. No. I'll, I'll be alright. I, I brought some popsicles with me for just such situations. I, I feel much better now. Actually, they're quite tasteless. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to stomach them. <sighs> Thank you for your concern. I'm fine now. But what should I do next if all these clues are irrelevant? Yes, I've noticed him too. 
It's no coincidence that we both noticed it. I'm sure he's watching us. But it doesn't seem he has any intentions other than looking at us. Perhaps there's something he wishes to tell us. Hmm, possible. Let's go and ask him. Uh, huh? Sorry, I'll leave now. No, please, relax. There's no need to worry. We're not here for trouble. We couldn't help but notice you standing here for a while and thought that you might have something on your mind. No, there's nothing on my mind. I just thought the thing you were eating looked tasty. My sister just loves food. She's always super happy whenever we get some tasty snacks. I'm her big brother and I should take care of her, but mom says we're too poor and she never lets me buy any snacks. Oh, you mean one of my popsicles? I'm afraid you wouldn't find them very tasty, though. Oh, it doesn't matter. My sister's never had anything like that before. I know she'd be happy to try one. Hmm. Come to think of it, I've never had one either. I see. Hmm. That might be difficult. Well, I only have two popsicles left. These popsicles are very important to me, and I might need them if we encounter an evil spirit. Without them, I might not be able to control my constitution. <sighs> You're right. I'll just have to make do without my popsicles then. Here, my young friend, you can have my last two popsicles. You and your sister can each have one. Really? Wow! Thanks a lot! <laughs> Just wait till my sister tries this. I haven't seen her smile in a long time. Whoa! It's already starting to melt! Excuse me, I better hurry back to Chihu Rock now! I never expected that something I used to suppress my yang energy would be so appealing to kids. <sighs> but I wonder how I'll manage without any popsicles. I usually get my popsicles from one min restaurant on special order. The ingredients are not complicated, but the restaurant is always bustling with business and Chef Mao is usually too busy to take my order. Now that I've used all my supply, I'll have to trouble him to make more. Oh, no need. I'm sure I can manage it on my own. Oh, perhaps you were concerned by my unwell appearance earlier. I appreciate your concern, but please don't worry about me. I assure you, I'm not that fragile. But if you're offering to come along, then I won't refuse. <sighs> All right. Please follow me to One Min Restaurant. Oh, this is bad. Chef Mao is not at the restaurant right now, and neither is Xiangling. We'll have to wait until he returns. What do we do about the evil spirits? Oh, are you a good cook? Then I'll leave it to you. Thanks for your help. Uh, I'm afraid all I know is that it requires water. But to imbue the effect that suppresses my yang energy, perhaps something special is required. Like different plants, fruits, or herbs, for example. Do you have any experience with such things? Oh, that sounds about right. Coming up with the right ingredients off the top of your head like that? You most certainly are an experienced adventurer. Have you procured all the ingredients for the popsicles? Are they finished? Oh, they look exactly like the ones Chef Mao makes for me. Let me try one. Yes. Good. This is the right feeling. I can sense the energy calming down within me. Thank you, Traveler. Now I have lots of popsicles. Your skills are amazing. If I'd known you possessed such skills, we could have made more for that kid and his family. <laughs> right. But he mentioned his family is not well off. I'd still like to help them if I can. Exorcism is my means of helping the people of Liyue live more peaceful and happy lives. If that kid really needs my help, 
then helping him would be just different means to the same end. All right. I remember the kid mentioned that he was headed for Chihu Rock. Let's go find him. Oh, this is bad. Chef Mao is not at the restaurant right now, and neither is Xiangling. We'll have to wait until he returns. What do we do about the evil spirits? Oh, are you a good cook? Then I'll leave it to you. Thanks for your help. Uh, I'm afraid all I know is that it requires water. But to imbue the effect that suppresses my yang energy, perhaps something special is required. Like different plants, fruits, or herbs, for example. Do you have any experience with such things? Hmm, those do sound refreshing. But the popsicles aren't sweet. Uh, but in case you know something I don't, I'll trust your judgment. Have you procured all the ingredients for the popsicles? Are they finished? Ah, oh, these look even tastier than my original popsicles. Let me try one. Mm, yes, it tastes fruity and sweet. It's delicious. But I'm afraid it's not as effective at suppressing my yang energy as Chef Mao's popsicles. Sadly not. But in any case, these should be good enough for now. These popsicles really are delicious. I bet that kid we met earlier would be thrilled to taste this flavor. <laughs> right. But he mentioned his family is not well off. I'd still like to help them if I can. Exorcism is my means of helping the people of Liyue live more peaceful and happy lives. If that kid really needs my help, then helping him would be just different means to the same end. Alright. I remember the kid mentioned that he was headed for Chihu Rock. Let's go find him. Where did you get these? I didn't give you any Mora. You didn't steal them, did you? No, I didn't steal them. I talked to a nice person and they just gave them to me. So you've been asking for food on the street? I've already told you such behavior makes you look uneducated. How could you ask a stranger for food? Is that any different from being a beggar? But I didn't ask them for it. They asked me if I wanted some. That's it. No more lies. Just be honest about your mistake. Uh, excuse me. He got those popsicles from me. He never asked us. We just gave them to him. Uh, yeah, this is the nice person I was telling you about. What? what who are you? My name is Chung Yoon. As you could probably tell from my attire, I'm an exorcist. Your son really seemed interested in popsicles, so we thought we'd make a batch for you. That's why we're paying you a visit. Uh, oh, I see. Sorry, I seem to have misunderstood him. I'm sorry, DeLong. It was wrong for Mommy to blame you. It's okay, Mommy. So am I allowed to talk to the nice popsicle man now? <laughs> sure. But please keep an eye on your sister. Mommy will be back after some errands, okay? Don't worry. I'll look after her. Bye, Mommy. Thanks. If it wasn't for you, I would have been in big trouble again. Thank you for the popsicle. It was so cool and delicious. Oh, wow. Look at all the popsicles. Thanks. Okay, I got it. Thanks, you guys. You're like heroes. Heroes? Yeah, I've been telling a story to my sister recently, and she admires the story's heroes very much. They're chivalrous, just, and they help the weak fight against evil. And the heroes always have a good partner. One hero can beat up two bad guys, but with a good partner, they can defeat even more. You two must be very good partners. Uh, well... Yay! I knew it! You two must get along well together. Um, 
we're gonna go play right now. Oh, would you come and play with us? Don't be so childish. I'm sure heroes like them have important things to do. Huh? You mean you can't play? Huh? Oh, well, I... Uh... Sorry, could I have a word with you, Traveler? They look so excited to play with us, but I'm sure they'll be disappointed if we refuse. Uh, sure, that's fine, but... No, it's nothing. I'm just... a little bit worried. I spend most of my time purging evil spirits and practicing thaumaturgy. And besides my training, I also need to constantly focus deeply on my own emotions to avoid losing control. So, what I mean is that I seldom have time for anything that others would consider fun. I don't even know the first thing about playing with kids. They think we're heroes, so they must be very excited to play with us. But I'm afraid they'll just find me... boring. Ah, great. That's reassuring. All right. Let's give it a try. But I'll need your help if I don't know what to do. Yay, they're back! So can we go play now? Uh, yeah. I'll try. <laughs> Yay! No need to be nervous. We're gonna have a blast. Um, oh, I know. Um, uh, let's play hide and seek. Um, you'll be the ghost, but, um, don't peek until you count to 50. Who? Me? Okay, we'll go hide now. You'll have to find all three of us if you want to win. <laughs> You'll never be able to find me! You mean, we just hide anywhere we want? Of course, silly! That's the most fun part of the game! But don't follow me. There's only room for one person in my secret hiding spot. Ah, uh, alright. But I still don't really know what to do. You're right. I'll give it a try. Yay! Let's go hide! No peeking now. Huh? You found me! How did you know to look for me here? Hey, you didn't peek, did you? Ah, oh, you found me. I can't believe I lost. I didn't expect you to be so good at this. I never expected you to find me so easily. I thought that this would be the perfect spot. In fact, I'm well versed in the methods of locating evil spirits and I have lots of experience tracking down their hiding spots. This spot is dusty and a bit gloomy, which gives off an unsettling energy. Evil spirits usually prefer such places. Yeah, I guess my experience as an exorcist doesn't apply very well. Since I've been found, I guess I must admit my defeat. It's a simple game, yet quite intriguing once you begin to play. Sure. We can invite more friends to join us. Let's go. Hmm. Mommy's still not back yet. Oh, I'm starving. Do you two know how to cook at all? Don't be so selfish. They played with us for a long time already. Well, if we played for so long, then a little longer won't hurt. No, it's all right. But I'm not too picky about the taste of food, as long as it doesn't make me feel unwell. Unwell? Are you sick? Mommy says you should always take care of yourself. No, it's not so serious. I just need to be careful about what I eat. For example, noodles with mountain delicacies. The dish tastes great, but I can't eat anything warm. So I came up with my own variation called cold noodles with mountain delicacies. C cold noodles? That sounds nice and cool. I, I want to try. Well, I don't think they taste quite as good as when they're served warm. No way! I'm sure it's just as good as the popsicles, or even better. 
well... Hmm... All right. We can use the kitchen here. I'll prepare the noodles once all the ingredients are ready. Get it while it's hot. Are all the ingredients ready? So, how does it taste? Oh, <laughs> you flatter me. No need to exaggerate, though. Let's serve the dish to the kids. I hope they'll like it. Wow, it tastes amazing! I've never had anything like this before. Mm. You're not only a hero, but, but also a chef? What a surprise! Is there more? I want seconds. Me too, me too! Whoa, slow down there. There's plenty more. I'm so full. You're so amazing. Now that we're done, let's play more games. M m more games? This is completely unexpected for me. I was sure that everyone would just think I'm boring. No way! You're so much fun! And if you weren't so icy all the time, you'd be even more fun! Come on, let's go! I want to play something else! Excuse me, have you perchance seen any evil spirits? Oh, my apologies. You're not from around here, are you? This question must sound a little confusing to you. I'm Chong Yun, a local exorcist from Liu. Those versed in the arts of exorcism refer to all forms of demons and monsters as evil spirits. Evil spirits have existed since ancient times. They lurk among the shadows in the lands of Liyue, stirring up all sorts of trouble and mischief. It is my duty to exorcise or destroy them, and protect the citizens here from their evil doings. How did you come to know of the vigilant Yaksha? I have great respect for the Yakshas. For generations, Yakshas and exorcists have been protecting Liyue together, one in plain sight, and the other in secret. Sorry, I digress. Judging from your response, it seems you aren't well versed in the realm of evil spirits. But that's understandable. If I may ask, have you happened to come across anything strange recently? Sometimes even the most trivial matters prove helpful in my hunt for evil spirits. Oh, I see. Well, fair enough. In that case, I guess I'll just have to try my luck with the clues I already have. <sighs> Only some scattered reports, really. Nothing too significant yet. But if you're interested, I can tell you about some of the more useful ones I've gathered so far. I read a flyer that said, The test of courage is now being held on Wu Wang Hill. Bring your best friend and test your courage together. Then, recently, the sounds of footsteps and shouting have been heard outside people's windows at night. The noises have frightened the children and they are unable to sleep. And a huge shadow has appeared in Guayli Plains. It flies and swirls, summons down fireballs, and makes all sorts of strange noises. Cases such as these might actually be worth our attention. Hmm... Unless there was a problem with the drinks, I don't think drunkards would scare the children that much. <sighs> Do you think I'm not deciphering these clues correctly? So you don't think any of these clues are related to evil spirits? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Please give me a moment to calm myself. <sighs> no, it's fine. I've been this way since I was young. No, not at all. I guess you could say that I just tend to be... unstable. You know, emotionally. It causes me to become very uncomfortable at times. This tendency of getting stirred up easily is what people call a pure yang spirit. Yes, well, such a constitution is very rare. But it's a potent weapon for an exorcist. My constitution alone is capable of scaring off evil spirits. But I must constantly focus on my emotions. Otherwise, I may easily do something out of control. Anyway, 
I carefully selected these clues from an ocean of information. I can't believe they're all completely irrelevant. Oh no. I'm still feeling quite uncomfortable. There's heat growing in my chest. I... I... I can't breathe. No. I'll, I'll be alright. I, I brought some popsicles with me for just such situations. I, I feel much better now. Actually, they're quite tasteless. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to stomach them. <sighs> Thank you for your concern. I'm fine now. But what should I do next if all these clues are irrelevant? Yes, I've noticed him too. It's no coincidence that we both noticed it. I'm sure he's watching us. But it doesn't seem he has any intentions other than looking at us. Perhaps there's something he wishes to tell us. Hmm, possible. Let's go and ask him. Uh, huh? Sorry, I'll leave now. No, please, relax. There's no need to worry. We're not here for trouble. We couldn't help but notice you standing here for a while and thought that you might have something on your mind. No, there's nothing on my mind. I just thought the thing you were eating looked tasty. My sister just loves food. She's always super happy whenever we get some tasty snacks. I'm her big brother, and I should take care of her, but... Mom says we're too poor, and she never lets me buy any snacks. Oh, you mean one of my popsicles? I'm afraid you wouldn't find them very tasty, though. Oh, it doesn't matter. My sister's never had anything like that before. I know she'd be happy to try one. Hmm. Come to think of it, I've never had one either. I see. Hmm. That might be difficult. Well, I only have two popsicles left. These popsicles are very important to me, and I might need them if we encounter an evil spirit. Without them, I might not be able to control my constitution. <sighs> You're right. I'll just have to make do without my popsicles then. Here, my young friend, you can have my last two popsicles. You and your sister can each have one. Really? Wow! Thanks a lot! <laughs> Just wait till my sister tries this. I haven't seen her smile in a long time. Whoa! It's already starting to melt! Excuse me, I better hurry back to Chihu Rock now! I never expected that something I used to suppress my yang energy would be so appealing to kids. <sighs> but I wonder how I'll manage without any popsicles. I usually get my popsicles from one min restaurant on special order. The ingredients are not complicated, but the restaurant is always bustling with business, and Chef Mao is usually too busy to take my order. Now that I've used all my supply, I'll have to trouble him to make more. Oh, no need. I'm sure I can manage it on my own. Oh, perhaps you were concerned by my unwell appearance earlier. I appreciate your concern, but please don't worry about me. I assure you, I'm not that fragile. But if you're offering to come along, then I won't refuse. <sighs> All right. Please follow me to Wan Min Restaurant. Oh, this is bad. Chef Mao is not at the restaurant right now, and neither is Xiangling. We'll have to wait until he returns. What do we do about the evil spirits? Oh, are you a good cook? Then I'll leave it to you. Thanks for your help. Uh, I'm afraid all I know is that it requires water. But to imbue the effect that suppresses my yang energy, perhaps something special is required. Like different plants, fruits, or herbs, for example. Do you have any experience with such things? Uh, that sounds a little dangerous. But, as the saying goes, fight fire with fire. I trust your judgment. Ah, oh, this is bad. Chef Mao is not at the restaurant right now, and neither is Xiangling. We'll have to wait until he returns. What do we do about the evil spirits? 
Oh, are you a good cook? Then I'll leave it to you. Thanks for your help. Uh, I'm afraid all I know is that it requires water. But to imbue the effect that suppresses my yang energy, perhaps something special is required. Like different plants, fruits, or herbs, for example. Do you have any experience with such things? Uh, that sounds a little dangerous. But as the saying goes, fight fire with fire. I trust your judgment. Have you procured all the ingredients for the popsicles? Is it finished? Ooh, the color seems to be off. Let me try one. Okay, here it goes. so spicy. My throat is on fire. Oh, no, no. This is not good. Excuse me. Have you perchance seen any evil spirits? Oh, my apologies. You're not from around here, are you? This question must sound a little confusing to you. I'm Chong Yoon, a local exorcist from Liu. Those versed in the arts of exorcism refer to all forms of demons and monsters as evil spirits. Evil spirits have existed since ancient times. They lurk among the shadows in the lands of Liyue, stirring up all sorts of trouble and mischief. It is my duty to exorcise or destroy them, and protect the citizens here from their evil doings. Really? Please enlighten me. Oh, I see. There are some similarities. Sorry, I digress. Judging from your response, it seems you aren't well versed in the realm of evil spirits. But that's understandable. If I may ask, have you happened to come across anything strange recently? Sometimes even the most trivial matters prove helpful in my hunt for evil spirits. Oh, I see. Well, fair enough. In that case... I guess I'll just have to try my luck with the clues I already have. <sighs> Only some scattered reports, really. Nothing too significant yet. But if you're interested, I can tell you about some of the more useful ones I've gathered so far. I read a flyer that said, The test of courage is now being held on Wu Wang Hill. Bring your best friend and test your courage together. Then, recently, the sounds of footsteps and shouting have been heard outside people's windows at night. The noises have frightened the children, and they are unable to sleep. And a huge shadow has appeared in Guayli Plains. It flies and swirls, summons down fireballs, and makes all sorts of strange noises. Cases such as these might actually be worth our attention. Ruin Hunter? Hmm, that would fit the description. But why has no one recognized it? Do you think I'm not deciphering these clues correctly? Hmm. I think the clue about the test of courage is the most relevant one I have so far. If strange things have been happening at the event, then evil spirits may well be the cause. <sighs> but there's an unusual requirement for this event. You must be a team of two people in order to participate. Huh? Strengthen the relationship? Oh, sorry. I, I don't really get it. Anyway, if you have the time, would you join me for this event? You seem to have a good eye for discerning these clues. With your adventuring experience, I'm sure we'll track down those evil spirits in no time. Ah, uh, thank you. I was starting to worry that I wouldn't be able to find a partner. We should make haste. If there are evil spirits at the event, then things could get dangerous. Please be careful, everyone. Pay close attention to your surroundings and stay vigilant once you enter. And most importantly, don't get separated from your partner and wander off on your own. You'll most certainly be in for a scare if you go alone. Did you hear that? He's warning the event participants. Maybe something strange really did happen here. 
Let's investigate. <laughs> Welcome to the test of courage. You two must be very close friends. Actually, we just met. <laughs> no problem at all. Don't be shy. Just enjoy yourselves. But please drink this before you enter the test of courage. This drink will boost the yang energy inside your body and lift your courage. Not only that, but this drink will also allow you to see things which are usually hidden from the naked eye. Pretty exciting, huh? Y yang energy? That's right. Ghosts are said to be full of yin energy, so more yang energy will surely deter them. Oh, I've never heard of such a drink. Is it a secret recipe? Or maybe some kind of potion? Hmm, possibly. But why bother exaggerating it so much then? But if this drink really does boost Yang energy, then it's potentially dangerous for me. <sighs> you see, I have a very rare constitution called a pure Yang spirit. Such a constitution allows me to scare away evil spirits, but it also makes me prone to emotional impulses. I am constantly focusing to keep my mind and body in a normal state, which usually works until I suffer from some external stress. Come now, what's with that serious expression on your face, lad? You aren't worried about the drink, are you? It's delicious and quite effective if I do say so myself. There's nothing to worry about. Or if you're still unsure, perhaps only one of you could take the drink. The person who takes the drink can protect the one who doesn't. It'll be exciting either way. Hmm. It's hard to refuse when you put it that way. All right, here it is. Please drink it slowly. Haha! <laughs> yes, that's it. You did great. You two may enter now. I'm starting to feel something after that drink. Uh, no, no, I'll be fine. Let's go investigate the area. <sighs> so this is the test of courage. Oh, there are more people here than I imagined. They could all be in grave danger if there really is an evil spirit here. We must get to the bottom of this. I'm not too sure where we should start, but I know we'll find something once we start looking. These innocent participants are completely oblivious to the potential danger here. We'll need to protect them. W what? Please, enlighten me. You mean, being scared is like entertainment to them? I see. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I'm certainly a stranger to entertainment after all. I mostly spend my time purging evil spirits and practicing thaumaturgy. Besides training, I also need to constantly focus on my own emotions to avoid losing control. So I rarely have any time for leisure activities. I'm completely unfamiliar with what others would consider entertainment. Hmm. Well, either way, let's check the area for any evil spirits just in case. Where should we start? This is all your fault! This place nearly scared me to death! Alright, alright, don't lose your temper! We're leaving now, okay? Hmm. To think I used to believe you were brave. Uh, but this is different! Excuse me, but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Did you perchance encounter an evil spirit? If so, I'm here to track it. Could you please tell me which direction it went? Uh, who are you? No, I didn't see anything, so don't ask. So please just leave me alone. I don't know what you're talking about, and I certainly don't want anything to do with an evil spirit. My apologies. Perhaps you misunderstood what I meant. I only wish to know what the spirit looks like, and which way it went so we could track it down. If you can't describe its appearance, then at least show us the way it went. Uh, show you the way? No, I'm not going anywhere. No, no, we're not taking you anywhere. I am just asking you to show us... Ugh, no, forget it! Alright, that's enough. Listen, if you keep talking like that, she might actually end up believing in that nonsense. Can't you see she's terrified enough already? 
You could go find whatever strange things you're looking for on your own. Uh, my apologies. I didn't mean to frighten her. Yes, I'm just trying to hunt the evil spirit you mentioned to prevent it from hurting anyone. Isn't it a bit strange for an exorcist to come to the test of courage looking for evil spirits? Oh, I think I get it now. But we didn't say anything about a ghost or spirit. I think you misunderstood us. I brought my girlfriend here to have some fun, but instead she got frightened by all this spooky atmosphere. Now we'll just have to go home. <sighs> I'm not too sure what you're looking for, but we did see some dark shadows making strange noises. Thank you very much. That's very helpful. Well, you heard it. It seems something unusual is going on here. But why would they ever want to come here if they get scared so easily? Interesting. I have never had any fear of evil spirits, so perhaps I'm unable to understand their feelings. It's amazing that you're able to pick up on that. Good thing I brought you as my partner. Anyway, let's keep searching the area. Don't come over here again! Seriously, just leave me alone! W why must you be so obstinate? Just calm down, it's not what you think. No, don't even bother! You think I don't know what you're doing? Stop! Not a step closer! Don't be afraid, I'll exercise it right now! Exercise it? What? Who are you? And what are you talking about? Wait, what? Oh, he's just a person? Uh, it seems I've made a mistake. After seeing her resist so violently, I thought for sure an evil spirit was trying to harm her. Nah, it's not like that at all. She's just throwing a tantrum. Excuse me? A tantrum? <laughs> this is supposed to be a date, you know? And now that we're finally here, you don't want to go anywhere and you just want to hang around the entrance. What's the point in that? All right, fine. I was just about to walk in with you. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit scared, that's all. That's why I've been stalling. I was wrong, okay? Now that someone else is here, let's take a moment to calm down. I wasn't thinking clearly. It was pure impulse. I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. Will you give me another chance? Fine. I know I shouldn't have yelled at you. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. You're still the best, babe. Uh, who said you could call me babe? You're so annoying. Ah, uh, so they really are on a date? But why in such a dangerous place like this? <sighs> Perhaps we should just leave them alone. Hmm. These are traces left by an evil spirit. No doubt about it. The traces are quite weak, though, so there are only two possibilities. Either the spirit that left the traces is very weak, or it has already left for some time now. Either way, these possibilities prove my hunch that there's indeed an evil spirit here. No, I don't think so. There have been many rumors regarding the cause of Wu Wang Hill's gloomy aura, but nothing is certain. Although, once it became the murky place you see now, it also began to attract more evil spirits. Anyway, these traces lead us one step closer to finding an evil spirit. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry, I feel... unwell. I think the drink we had earlier stirred the yang energy inside my body. If there's too much yang energy, I'm afraid that I won't be able to control myself. Even though you were willing to accompany me this far, uh, I don't want to cause you any further trouble. If I lose control, I fear that I'll be the one endangering everyone here, not evil spirits. We better find somewhere to rest. All right. You are an experienced adventurer, after all. I won't be far, so just call for help if you run into any danger. Ugh. I'm beat. 
Finally, I can take a break. Ugh. I wonder if I took things a little too far. Few people seem scared out of their minds. Huh? Hey, you shouldn't be here. <sighs> Never mind. I assume you overheard me anyway. I work here pretending to be a ghost, but now's my break time, so I took off my costume. I get all hot and stuffy wearing that thing. Of course, how could there be real ghosts here? No one wants to see a real ghost, neither us nor the participants. We just come here for the atmosphere, or should I say, the chance. Everyone wants the chance to feel the thrill of excitement. When people find themselves in a scary situation, they'll say things that they'd never dare to otherwise. That's what the test of courage is all about. <sighs> okay. I should get back to work now. Hope you and whoever you're here with have a fun time. Oh, you're back. So how did it go? Did you see an evil spirit? Huh? So that's what's going on here? No evil spirits? No danger? It's all just a setup? I... I see. It seems I've been tricked again. Uh oh I'm starting to feel more and more uncomfortable. Now that everything's settled here, let's head back to Liyue Harbor. But could you help me walk back? It's fine. I'll be okay. No, really. I'm fine. Excuse me, have you perchance seen any evil spirits? Oh, my apologies. You're not from around here, are you? This question must sound a little confusing to you. I'm Chong Yun, a local exorcist from Liu. Those versed in the arts of exorcism refer to all forms of demons and monsters as evil spirits. Evil spirits have existed since ancient times. They lurk among the shadows in the lands of Liu, stirring up all sorts of trouble and mischief. It is my duty to exorcise or destroy them, and protect the citizens here from their evil doings. It's work that must be done, much like any other job. That's all. Sorry, I digress. Judging from your response, it seems you aren't well versed in the realm of evil spirits. But that's understandable. If I may ask, have you happened to come across anything strange recently? Sometimes even the most trivial matters prove helpful in my hunt for evil spirits. Oh, I see. Well, fair enough. In that case, I guess I'll just have to try my luck with the clues I already have. <sighs> Only some scattered reports, really. Nothing too significant yet. But if you're interested, I can tell you about some of the more useful ones I've gathered so far. I read a flyer that said... The test of courage is now being held on Wu Wang Hill. Bring your best friend and test your courage together. Then, recently, the sounds of footsteps and shouting have been heard outside people's windows at night. The noises have frightened the children and they are unable to sleep. And a huge shadow has appeared in Guayli Plains. It flies and swirls, summons down fireballs and makes all sorts of strange noises. Cases such as these might actually be worth our attention. I think something strange must have happened at the test of courage. I guess this so-called test is supposed to be like a test of metal. Its purpose must be to try the will and power of exorcists. <sighs> Do you think I'm not deciphering these clues correctly? Hmm. I think the clue about the test of courage is the most relevant one I have so far. If strange things have been happening at the event, then evil spirits may well be the cause. <sighs> but there's an unusual requirement for this event. You must be a team of two people in order to participate. Is it? Huh. Perhaps you're right. If evil spirits do show up, then the two can take care of each other, I suppose. Anyway, if you have the time, 
Would you join me for this event? You seem to have a good eye for discerning these clues. With your adventuring experience, I'm sure we'll track down those evil spirits in no time. Please, you must go with me. I don't know if I'll be able to find anyone else suitable to join me. My best friend is busy with other matters, and, and I worry that anyone else won't even be able to protect themselves. Ah, <sighs> you have my thanks. We should make haste. If there are evil spirits at the event, then things could get dangerous. Please be careful, everyone. Pay close attention to your surroundings and stay vigilant once you enter. And most importantly, don't get separated from your partner and wander off on your own. You'll most certainly be in for a scare if you go alone. Did you hear that? He's warning the event participants. Maybe something strange really did happen here. Let's investigate. <laughs> Welcome to the test of courage. You two must be very close friends. Actually, we just met. <laughs> no problem at all. Don't be shy. Just enjoy yourselves. But please drink this before you enter the test of courage. This drink will boost the yang energy inside your body and lift your courage. Not only that, but this drink will also allow you to see things which are usually hidden from the naked eye. Pretty exciting, huh? Y yang energy? That's right. Ghosts are said to be full of yin energy, so more yang energy will surely deter them. Oh, I've never heard of such a drink. Is it a secret recipe? Or maybe some kind of potion? Surely not. He keeps emphasizing that there are frightening things inside. I'm almost certain it's some powerful evil spirit. But if this drink really does boost Yang energy, then it's potentially dangerous for me. <sighs> you see, I have a very rare constitution called a pure Yang spirit. Such a constitution allows me to scare away evil spirits, but it also makes me prone to emotional impulses. I am constantly focusing to keep my mind and body in a normal state, which usually works until I suffer from some external stress. Come now, what's with that serious expression on your face, lad? You aren't worried about the drink, are you? It's delicious and quite effective if I do say so myself. There's nothing to worry about. Or if you're still unsure, perhaps only one of you could take the drink. The person who takes the drink can protect the one who doesn't. It'll be exciting either way. Hmm. It's hard to refuse when you put it that way. All right, here it is. Please drink it slowly. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, that's it. You did great. You two may enter now. I'm starting to feel something after that drink. Uh, no, no, I'll be fine. Let's go investigate the area. Uh, so this is the test of courage. Oh, there are more people here than I imagined. They could all be in grave danger if there really is an evil spirit here. We must get to the bottom of this. I'm not too sure where we should start, but I know we'll find something once we start looking. These innocent participants are completely oblivious to the potential danger here. We'll need to protect them. W what? Please, enlighten me. I see. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I'm certainly a stranger to entertainment, after all. I mostly spend my time purging evil spirits and practicing thaumaturgy. Besides training, I also need to constantly focus on my own emotions to avoid losing control. So I rarely have any time for leisure activities. I'm completely unfamiliar with what others would consider entertainment. Hmm. Well, either way, let's check the area for any evil spirits just in case. Where should we start? This is all your fault! This place nearly scared me to death! All right, all right, don't lose your temper. We're leaving now, okay? Hmm. To think I used to believe you were brave. Excuse me, but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. 
Did you perchance encounter an evil spirit? If so, I'm here to track it. Could you please tell me which direction it went? Uh, who are you? No, I didn't see anything, so don't ask. So please just leave me alone. I don't know what you're talking about, and I certainly don't want anything to do with an evil spirit. My apologies. Perhaps you misunderstood what I meant. I only wish to know what the spirit looks like, and which way it went so we could track it down. If you can't describe its appearance, then at least show us the way it went. Uh, show you the way? No, I'm not going anywhere. No, no, we're not taking you anywhere. I am just asking you to show us- Ugh, no, forget it! Alright, that's enough. Listen, if you keep talking like that, she might actually end up believing in that nonsense. Can't you see she's terrified enough already? You could go find whatever strange things you're looking for on your own. Uh, my apologies. I didn't mean to frighten her. Yes, I'm just trying to hunt the evil spirit you mentioned to prevent it from hurting anyone. Isn't it a bit strange for an exorcist to come to the test of courage looking for evil spirits? Oh, I think I get it now. But we didn't say anything about a ghost or spirit. I think you misunderstood us. I brought my girlfriend here to have some fun, but instead she got frightened by all this spooky atmosphere. Now we'll just have to go home. <sighs> I'm not too sure what you're looking for, but we did see some dark shadows making strange noises. Thank you very much. That's very helpful. Well, you heard it. It seems something unusual is going on here. But why would they ever want to come here if they get scared so easily? Interesting. I have never had any fear of evil spirits, so perhaps I'm unable to understand their feelings. It's amazing that you're able to pick up on that. Good thing I brought you as my partner. Anyway, let's keep searching the area. Don't come over here again! Seriously, just leave me alone! W why must you be so obstinate? Just calm down, it's not what you think. No, don't even bother! You think I don't know what you're doing? Stop! Not a step closer! Don't be afraid! I'll exercise it right now! Exercise it? What? Who are you? And what are you talking about? Wait, what? Oh, he's just a person? Uh, it seems I've made a mistake. After seeing her resist so violently, I thought for sure an evil spirit was trying to harm her. Nah, it's not like that at all. She's just throwing a tantrum. Excuse me? A tantrum? <laughs> this is supposed to be a date, you know? And now that we're finally here, you don't want to go anywhere and you just want to hang around the entrance. What's the point in that? Alright, fine. I was just about to walk in with you. Look, I... I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit scared, that's all. That's why I've been stalling. I was wrong, okay? Now that someone else is here, let's take a moment to calm down. I wasn't thinking clearly. It was pure impulse. I'm sorry, please, forgive me. Will you give me another chance? <laughs> Fine. I know I shouldn't have yelled at you. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. You're still the best, babe. Uh, who said you could call me babe? Uh, you're so annoying! Ah, uh, so they really are on a date? But why in such a dangerous place like this? <sighs> Perhaps we should just leave them alone. Hmm. These are traces left by an evil spirit. No doubt about it. The traces are quite weak, though. So there are only two possibilities. Either the spirit that left the traces is very weak, or it has already left for some time now. Either way, these possibilities prove my hunch that there's indeed an evil spirit here. No, I don't think so. There have been many rumors regarding the cause of Wu Wang Hill's gloomy aura, but nothing is certain. Although, once it became the murky place you see now, it also began to attract more evil spirits. Anyway, these traces lead us one step closer to finding an evil spirit. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry, I feel... unwell. 
Uh, I think the drink we had earlier stirred the yang energy inside my body. If there's too much yang energy, uh, I'm afraid that I won't be able to control myself. Even though you were willing to accompany me this far, uh, I don't want to cause you any further trouble. If I lose control, I fear that I'll be the one endangering everyone here, not evil spirits. <sighs> we better find somewhere to rest. Sorry to trouble you again. The feeling... It's becoming more intense. Usually, I can manage by simply eating a popsicle. But that's only under normal circumstances. I may need something a bit more potent in this case. Like cryo slime condensate or cryo whopper flower nectar, for example. You've collected these during your adventures, right? But I'm afraid they're no good. They're not fresh enough. Perhaps they're fine as typical ingredients, but they won't be potent enough to suppress the abundance of yang energy inside me. Thank you. I'll be resting here. I should be able to manage for the time being if I just focus on keeping calm. It's dangerous to walk alone here, isn't it? You have no idea who or what you'll meet. Hmm, you seem to be pretty calm. You know, there's a saying, you can't keep your shoes dry if you're walking along the river. You're bound to run into something in such a strange and eerie place. And what you encounter here could become a nightmare that haunts you for the rest of your life. Huh? How are you so calm? People usually run away in terror before I can finish a sentence. Yes, I have one, but it's too hot to wear. And besides, a more sophisticated way to play a ghost is to create a creepy atmosphere that scares people psychologically. In which case, my appearance becomes irrelevant. Besides, I'll never be able to scare someone like you who doesn't believe in ghosts to begin with. Hey, that's not true! Oh, I'd better go find some wimps to scare now. You should go back and find your partner. He might be terrified by now. Thanks for finding these ingredients for me. I feel much better now. Although I still feel the yang energy stirring, at least I won't need to worry about it getting out of control. So, did you find any new leads when you were out looking for ingredients? Huh? So that's what's going on here? Does that mean all the strange things here are just a hoax? I... I, I see. So I was wrong again. In that case, I suppose there's no reason for us to linger here any longer. Yes, that was proof of an evil spirit's presence. But we can't be sure if the spirit's still here. Actually, I would also like to investigate that further. You're right. I'll focus my mind and spirit. Perhaps it'd be more effective for us to split up. Evil spirits will keep their distance if they sense the power of my pure Yang spirit. So you'll be more likely to find one if you're on your own. Yes, that would be best. Just keep it distracted till I arrive. I'll take this side, you take the other side. Let's move. <laughs> huh? Um, um, can, can, can you help me? Um, that exorcist with the blue hair is so scary. Um, can you lead him away from 
from here? It makes me feel so frightened. I wouldn't dare get anywhere near him. Oh, his energy... It's so horrible. It'll make me disappear. Oh, I don't want to disappear. Please, help me. Oh, well, I, I have an idea. Um, I saw the exorcist with blue hair arguing with someone over there a few minutes ago. I'll scare those troublemakers away, but you have to ask the exorcist to let me go, okay? Uh, of course. Chen Chen never lies. So, um, what do you say? Um, uh, okay. So, I'll take that as a yes? I hope the exorcist with blue hair is a good person. Um, so, I'll help him and you'll go talk to him. Uh, hopefully then he'll leave me alone. Sound good? Hey, you've been turning the whole place upside down looking for evil spirits. Other participants are starting to complain. Yeah, why would an exorcist show up at the test of courage and tell everyone that there are no ghosts here? You're just stirring up trouble. Honestly, I find this whole thing quite confusing. If there really are ghosts here, then you're using them to make Mora regardless of the participant's safety. You tell me, is that ethical business practice? And if there are no ghosts here, then your so-called test of courage is nothing but a big scam. Not only are you avoiding my questions, but now you accuse me of causing trouble? I've already told you! This is what kind of event the test of courage is. It's not our problem that you're taking it so seriously. And now that you're disturbing our participants, we'll have to ask you to leave. If anything about this made any sense at all, I would leave of my own volition. But if I leave now, I'm leaving evil spirits to their own devices. Help! Ghost! There's a ghost! Run for your life! What? What's going on? Everyone's starting to panic. I is there really a ghost? <sighs> Don't be silly. But if everyone starts running, someone could get hurt. Everyone, just calm down. No need to panic. Please move in an orderly fashion. I see. So there's no evil spirits here, just a wandering ghost. And she scared everyone away because I was in trouble? If things are as you say, then she doesn't seem like a malignant spirit. Hmm. All right. As long as she promises not to harm anyone, then I'll pretend that I never knew about her. However, if she ever does harm anyone, it'll be my job as an exorcist to come and purge her, to mend my mistake. No. No, no. This is my call. I shall take full responsibility. Hmm. We should go now. It doesn't seem we're particularly welcome here anyway. What's wrong? I have faith in my judgment of good and evil. But if I begin to neglect my perception of good and evil, it may lead to something I'd regret for the rest of my days. Wait, you mean you didn't think I could be fair and reasonable? Really? Do I look so obstinate? Yeah, you're right. All right, we should leave now. Uh, okay. Excuse me, have you perchance seen any evil spirits? Oh, my apologies. You're not from around here, are you? This question must sound a little confusing to you. I'm Chong Yoon, a local exorcist from Liu. Those versed in the arts of exorcism refer to all forms of demons and monsters as evil spirits. Evil spirits have existed since ancient times. They lurk among the shadows in the land of Liyue, stirring up all sorts of trouble and mischief. It is my duty to exorcise or destroy them, and protect the citizens here from their evil doings. It's work that must be done, much like any other job. That's all. 
Sorry, I digress. Judging from your response, it seems you aren't well versed in the realm of evil spirits. But that's understandable. If I may ask, have you happened to come across anything strange recently? Sometimes even the most trivial matters prove helpful in my hunt for evil spirits. Oh, I see. Well, fair enough. In that case, I guess I'll just have to try my luck with the clues I already have. <sighs> Only some scattered reports, really. Nothing too significant yet. But if you're interested, I can tell you about some of the more useful ones I've gathered so far. I read a flyer that said, The test of courage is now being held on Wu Wang Hill. Bring your best friend and test your courage together. Then, recently, the sounds of footsteps and shouting have been heard outside people's windows at night. The noises have frightened the children and they are unable to sleep. And a huge shadow has appeared in Guayli Plains. It flies and swirls, summons down fireballs, and makes all sorts of strange noises. Cases such as these might actually be worth our attention. I think something strange must have happened at the Test of Courage. I guess this so-called test is supposed to be like a test of metal. Its purpose must be to try the will and power of exorcists. <sighs> Do you think I'm not deciphering these clues correctly? I think the clue about the test of courage is the most relevant one I have so far. If strange things have been happening at the event, then evil spirits may well be the cause. <sighs> but there's an unusual requirement for this event. You must be a team of two people in order to participate. Is it? Huh. Perhaps you're right. If evil spirits do show up, then the two can take care of each other, I suppose. Anyway, if you have the time, would you join me for this event? You seem to have a good eye for discerning these clues. With your adventuring experience, I'm sure we'll track down those evil spirits in no time. Please, you must go with me. I don't know if I'll be able to find anyone else suitable to join me. My best friend is busy with other matters, and, and I worry that anyone else won't even be able to protect themselves. Ah, you have my thanks. We should make haste. If there are evil spirits at the event, then things could get dangerous. Please be careful, everyone. Pay close attention to your surroundings and stay vigilant once you enter. And most importantly, don't get separated from your partner and wander off on your own. You'll most certainly be in for a scare if you go alone. Did you hear that? He's warning the event participants. Maybe something strange really did happen here. Let's investigate. <laughs> Welcome to the test of courage. You two must be very close friends. Actually, we just met. <laughs> no problem at all. Don't be shy. Just enjoy yourselves. But please drink this before you enter the test of courage. This drink will boost the yang energy inside your body and lift your courage. Not only that, but this drink will also allow you to see things which are usually hidden from the naked eye. Pretty exciting, huh? Y yang energy? That's right. Ghosts are said to be full of yin energy, so more yang energy will surely deter them. Oh, I've never heard of such a drink. Is it a secret recipe? Or maybe some kind of potion? Surely not. He keeps emphasizing that there are frightening things inside. I'm almost certain it's some powerful evil spirit. But if this drink really does boost Yang energy, then it's potentially dangerous for me. <sighs> you see, I have a very rare constitution called a pure Yang spirit. Such a constitution allows me to scare away evil spirits, but it also makes me prone to emotional impulses. I am constantly focusing to keep my mind and body in a normal state, which usually works until I suffer from some external stress. Come now, what's with that serious expression on your face, lad? You aren't worried about the drink, are you? It's delicious and quite effective if I do say so myself. There's nothing to worry about. 
Or if you're still unsure, perhaps only one of you could take the drink. The person who takes the drink can protect the one who doesn't. It'll be exciting either way. Hmm. It's hard to refuse when you put it that way. All right, here it is. Please drink it slowly. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, that's it. You did great. You two may enter now. I'm starting to feel something after that drink. Uh, no, no, I'll be fine. Let's go investigate the area. <sighs> so this is the test of courage. Oh, there are more people here than I imagined. They could all be in grave danger if there really is an evil spirit here. We must get to the bottom of this. I'm not too sure where we should start, but I know we'll find something once we start looking. These innocent participants are completely oblivious to the potential danger here. We'll need to protect them. W what? Please, enlighten me. You mean... Being scared is like entertainment to them? I see. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I'm certainly a stranger to entertainment after all. I mostly spend my time purging evil spirits and practicing thaumaturgy. Besides training, I also need to constantly focus on my own emotions to avoid losing control. So I rarely have any time for leisure activities. I'm completely unfamiliar with what others would consider entertainment. Hmm. Well, either way, let's check the area for any evil spirits just in case. Where should we start? This is all your fault! This place nearly scared me to death! All right, all right, don't lose your temper. We're leaving now, okay? Hmm. To think I used to believe you were brave. Excuse me, but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Did you perchance encounter an evil spirit? If so, I'm here to track it. Could you please tell me which direction it went? Uh, who are you? No, I didn't see anything, so don't ask. So please just leave me alone. I don't know what you're talking about, and I certainly don't want anything to do with an evil spirit. My apologies. Perhaps you misunderstood what I meant. I only wish to know what the spirit looks like, and which way it went so we could track it down. If you can't describe its appearance, then at least show us the way it went. Uh, show you the way? No, I'm not going anywhere. No, no, we're not taking you anywhere. I am just asking you to show us- Ugh, no, forget it! Alright, that's enough. Listen, if you keep talking like that, she might actually end up believing in that nonsense. Can't you see she's terrified enough already? You could go find whatever strange things you're looking for on your own. Uh, my apologies. I didn't mean to frighten her. Yes, I'm just trying to hunt the evil spirit you mentioned to prevent it from hurting anyone. Isn't it a bit strange for an exorcist to come to the test of courage looking for evil spirits? Oh, I think I get it now. But we didn't say anything about a ghost or spirit. I think you misunderstood us. I brought my girlfriend here to have some fun, but instead she got frightened by all this spooky atmosphere. Now we'll just have to go home. <sighs> I'm not too sure what you're looking for, but we did see some dark shadows making strange noises. Thank you very much. That's very helpful. Well, you heard it. It seems something unusual is going on here. But why would they ever want to come here if they get scared so easily? Interesting. I have never had any fear of evil spirits, so perhaps I'm unable to understand their feelings. It's amazing that you're able to pick up on that. Good thing I brought you as my partner. Anyway, let's keep searching the area. Don't come over here again! Seriously, just leave me alone! W why must you be so obstinate? Just calm down, it's not what you think. No, don't even bother! You think I don't know what you're doing? Stop! Not a step closer! Don't be afraid. I'll exercise it right now. Exercise it? What? Who are you? And what are you talking about? Wait, what? 
Oh, he's just a person? Uh, it seems I've made a mistake. After seeing her resist so violently, I thought for sure an evil spirit was trying to harm her. Nah, it's not like that at all. She's just throwing a tantrum. Excuse me? A tantrum? <laughs> this is supposed to be a date, you know? And now that we're finally here, you don't want to go anywhere and you just want to hang around the entrance. What's the point in that? All right, fine. I was just about to walk in with you. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit scared, that's all. That's why I've been stalling. I was wrong, okay? Now that someone else is here, let's take a moment to calm down. <sighs> I wasn't thinking clearly. It was pure impulse. I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. Will you give me another chance? <laughs> Fine. I know I shouldn't have yelled at you. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. You're still the best, babe. Uh, who said you could call me babe? Uh, you're so annoying. Ah, uh, so they really are on a date? But why in such a dangerous place like this? <sighs> Perhaps we should just leave them alone. Hmm. These are traces left by an evil spirit. No doubt about it. The traces are quite weak, though. So there are only two possibilities. Either the spirit that left the traces is very weak, or it has already left for some time now. Either way, these possibilities prove my hunch that there's indeed an evil spirit here. No, I don't think so. There have been many rumors regarding the cause of Wu Wang Hill's gloomy aura, but nothing is certain. Although, once it became the murky place you see now, it also began to attract more evil spirits. Anyway, these traces lead us one step closer to finding an evil spirit. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I feel... unwell. I think the drink we had earlier stirred the yang energy inside my body. If there's too much yang energy, I'm afraid that I won't be able to control myself. Even though you were willing to accompany me this far, uh, I don't want to cause you any further trouble. If I lose control, I fear that I'll be the one endangering everyone here, not evil spirits. <sighs> we better find somewhere to rest. Uh, sorry to trouble you again. Feeling. It's becoming more intense. Uh, usually, I can manage by simply eating a popsicle, <clears throat> but that's only under normal circumstances. I may need something uh, a bit more potent in this case, like cryo slime condensate or cryo whopper flower nectar, for example. You've collected these during your adventures, right? But I'm afraid they're no good. They're not fresh enough. Perhaps they're fine as typical ingredients, but they won't be potent enough to suppress the abundance of yang energy inside me. Thank you. I'll be resting here. I should be able to manage for the time being if I just focus on keeping calm. It's dangerous to walk alone here, isn't it? You have no idea who or what you'll meet. Hmm, you seem to be pretty calm. You know, there's a saying, you can't keep your shoes dry if you're walking along the river. You're bound to run into something in such a strange and eerie place. And what you encounter here could become a nightmare that haunts you for the rest of your life. Huh? How are you so calm? People usually run away in terror before I can finish a sentence. Yeah, but a more sophisticated way to play a ghost is to create a creepy atmosphere that scares people psychologically. In which case, my appearance becomes irrelevant. 
Besides, I'll never be able to scare someone like you who doesn't believe in ghosts to begin with. Hey, that's not true. Oh, I'd better go find some wimps to scare now. You should go back and find your partner. He might be terrified by now. Thanks for finding these ingredients for me. I feel much better now. Although I still feel the Yang energy stirring, at least I won't need to worry about it getting out of control. So, did you find any new leads when you were out looking for ingredients? Huh? So that's what's going on here? Does that mean all the strange things here are just a hoax? I... I see. So I was wrong again. In that case, I suppose there's no reason for us to linger here any longer. I'm sorry. This has all been a waste of your precious time. <laughs> You're very kind. At least we checked the test of courage together and verified that the place is clear of danger. Hmm. <sighs> But if only we had found some evil spirits, then it all would have been worthwhile. <laughs>